So you got the X-Tool F2 Ultra UV, and a customer comes up to you and says, I have a picture of my dog. I would like to have it subsurfaced engraved. Well, you're in luck. This is a tutorial on how to do it. It's pretty darn easy. And this is my buddy Bear. Uh, he passed away last year, but rule of thumb is for a dog, you're gonna wanna try, or any animal, you're gonna wanna try to get more of a side view like this. It makes it easier. And then you could get results like this, just from a 2D image. Then you're going to want to try to crop the image to maybe around the collar and get rid of the background. There's plenty of free tools out there like Inkscape that can actually help you do that. Now let's go ahead and open Xtool Studio. It sees that I already have that lens in for subsurface engraving, so we're going to select that and we're going to actually hit Cancel. Then we're going to go and use AI Make. And then we're going to go ahead and import our already cropped and removed background picture of Bear. This will take a few seconds to import. Then we're going to click on that little color palette down there and we're going to select our 3D modeling. And we're going to choose the second one, which is called General Mode. Now this is a credit system. And the last time I checked, it is about for $10 you get like a thousand credits. And if all goes well, for only 20 credits, you get your 3D model. We saved credits by using like Inkscape to crop and remove the background ourselves. As you can see, by having an angled image of your pet or someone else's pet, it does a really good job at creating the 3D rendering. It even did a really good job with Bear's ears because uh, he had one floppy ear and one hooked ear. And then you could go ahead and import that from the canvas onto your build area. And go ahead and take a look. Pretty darn nice. I'm very happy with the results. I just noticed without having an angled picture of a pet, eh, the snout could be questionable for the length, but it still does a pretty good job. Now I'm going to enter the dimensions of my canine crystal. As I mentioned before in my review of the X-Tool F2 Ultra UV, these crystals are not always dimensionally accurate. And I actually like using the longest axis as my Z, which is going to be 49.15. The Y gets the short end of the stick. It gets the shortest axis of 47.52. And the X gets the second longest, and that will be 48.20. And then I'm just going to hit Next. And I'm going to just use the default settings here, value 35, and make sure it's there, and then hit Import Canvas. We can see now that uh, Bear is a little bit off here, but all we have to do is click on Auto Fit and it automatically puts him right into the center of the cube engraving space. However, the orientation is not to my liking and it's kind of really on a bad angle. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. After adjusting the X, Y, and Z, I got Bear basically to where I want him. And now let's go ahead and just double check. And yep, I'm very happy with that. But now let's add a little bit more of a personal touch. This is what customers will definitely want. And we're going to go ahead and add his name. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in bear here. And now we'll be able to add his name. And I like doing it a little bit directly underneath, but I'm not liking this font very well. So good thing we have a really big font library to choose from. So let's go ahead. I really like this one. So we're going to choose this font right here and then we're going to go ahead and apply it. Now we're going to then move this, you know, um, bear's name down to the bottom and then towards the front. And then we're going to angle it a little bit, give it a little more of a dimensional feel to it. And that way, you know, we can see bear and we can see his name and it looks pretty darn nice. Now that we have this all completed with bear and his name, we need to select our material. And we're going to go ahead and choose the K9 glass. Again, the K9 glass is the material of choice here for doing subsurface engraving. And I want you to pay attention to the settings on the right. We have power of 50, speed 600, layer height 0.5, frequency of 40. Now let's go ahead and place it in the riser jig and let's go ahead and engrave. Now this only took about three and a half minutes, super fast. And I have to say the quality is kind of just 
okay. I mean, you can see it bare a little bit. I definitely need to raise it up a little because it went a little bit too far down for his name. And you can, it, it shows. I mean, you can definitely see bare, but I think we can do better. Just because it's fast doesn't mean it's better. So now pay attention to my settings here. 60, 350, 0. 0 0.05, 0 0.05 frequency of 40. Now these are the settings that I'm using instead of what um, Xtool is recommending. Now this will take a lot longer. You're talking about 25 minutes for this. I know it says 27 minutes on here, but after the engraving was done, it said it was about 25 minutes and change. And as you can see in the time lapse, it is a lot darker and the quality seems to be a lot better. Now let's take a look. Yeah. I look at the amount of detail now. Sure, this was 25 minutes versus three, but I believe the quality just speaks for itself. Now, I've done a lot of these crystals, so I kind of know the settings just off the top of my head. So, just want to make you aware of this. I found these uh, super cheap uh, pucks on Amazon, and you could go ahead and like crystals when you sell them and just give them away. I mean, they're pretty darn cheap, and look at how it makes the image just pop. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. The one on the left is my settings. The one on the right is the one that's provided by Xtool. Three and a half minutes on the right, 25 minutes on the left. Which one as a customer would you want? I think I would want more quality item like the one on the left. And I think it just came out absolutely amazing. So it's all up to you. Bear's favorite place was with me in the garage. Yes, I do have a little shrine. He was my best friend. And um, I think this is paying a nice tribute to him. And uh, yeah, I still miss him to this day. And my logo for my YouTube channel is Bear right next to me. And that will never change. He was such a loyal companion. Now I get this question a lot. They ask, hey tripod, where do you get the K9 crystal blanks from? Well, he could start by going down the rabbit hole of a site like AliExpress. And you see here, I did canine crystal blanks. And there is a ton of different blanks out there to choose from with a wide variety of prices. And then, if you want to get a good price, literally, it is all about ordering in quantity. And so, like, here's one for like $1.26 over here. And, um, they said that all you have to do is order one at a time. But sometimes when you start chatting with agents, no, it's not that case at all. You may have to order 20, 50, 100, 1,000. So you definitely want to carve out some time during your day to go ahead and go through this process. Now I did order around 200 and I'm seeing a failure rate of about seven to 10%, meaning that these crystals are not engraving. And I put it on there, it just won't engrave. I switch out to the next one and that one engraves. So I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up of where I get my crystal blanks from. Now, if you are looking to purchase the Xtool F2 Ultra UV, affiliate links will be down below. And I really appreciate you tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you again on Tripod's Garage.